Okay, so now we are continuing to look at generating sets. Okay. So where do we get to? Okay, so we now have this theorem. For any S that's a subset of V, the set generated by S is a subspace of V. Okay, so of course the set generated by S is a subset of V because everything in the set generated by S is a vector, right? A vector in V. Because V is closed under vector, vector addition and scalar, multi scalar multiplication, so when you take linear combinations of things in S, things in S are in V, you take linear combinations of things in S, you still get things in V. So certainly the set generated by S is a subset of V, but now we want to prove that it's also a subspace of V, so that means proving that it's closed under, that will mean proving that it's closed under vector addition and scalar multiplication. So to show that the set generated by S is a subspace, we must show that it is closed under scalar multiplication and vector addition. Okay, so let U and V be two elements of the set generated by S, Sorry, sorry, I had to rescue a cat. So let U and V be two elements of the set generated by S, and now let B i gamma i be scalars. So they mean that B i and gamma i they mean B one, B two, B three, all these things. They're going to be scalars. Okay. Since U is in the set generated by S, we can express it. We assume that U is an element of the set generated by S. So it's a scalar. So it's a linear combination. So u is b1 times x1 plus b2 times x2 plus so on, for some b i's, right? Okay. So really the b i's are not chosen here. The b i's are, cho the B, the B are chosen here when we express u as a linear combination, right? Because what, it, what, what the x1, the x2, the xn, those are from s, those are from s, and then the b1, the b2, the bn, they depend on what u is because you know, which linear combination from S U is. Okay. So we do the same thing for V. Choose we choose gamma one, gamma two, and so on. So I mean I really think that's I would rather have here for some B I in R and similarly V is this linear combination for some gamma I in R. Okay. Now, the addition of u and v is then u plus v, so you just add those two expressions you have, okay? But that whole big thing, right, that's a linear combination of vectors in S, right? Because all the vectors xi and y, to so all the vectors x1, x2, and all the y1, y2, or ym, those are all in S. Oh, sometimes, it notes that sometimes you might have xp equal yq. You, you might have that one of these vectors Y, y2 maybe is one of the same as one of these vectors, maybe the same as y3. But then that's all right, that doesn't matter. You don't have to have that thing occurring, a vector occurring twice in this list, because you could group those vectors with the new coefficient, which is the sum of the two coefficients the coefficient for xp and the coefficient for yq. Okay, so there we go. So since this thing is a linear combination of vectors in S, that means that. Is an element of the set generated by S, with the set of all linear combinations of vectors from S. And so the set is closed under that condition. That's what we've just proved. Similarly, we can show that the set is closed under scalar multiplication, do it, and therefore the set generated by S is a subspace. Okay, so let's do that. Let's prove that the set is closed under scalar multiplication. So you're gonna take let's do it, we're gonna do it like this they did, like they did. So you, to a certain scalar multiplication, you can take U and elements of the set generated by S. Okay, now that means we can express it u as u equals um, alpha 1 x1 plus alpha 2 x2 and so on until we get alpha n xn. Okay, where the alpha 1 to alpha n, those are scalars, and the x1 
to xn, those are vectors in S, okay? But now, we should have actually then, so if we take that U and we also take a scalar called alpha, okay, which is no, no relation, alpha has no relation to the scalars alpha 1 to alpha n, okay? We take a scalar alpha, multiply it by the U, okay, we're going to get alpha times this whole expression, right? Alpha times this whole linear combination. But you can, because of the way that multiplication by a scalar works, you can group it like this. You can put the alpha in front of each of the individual things, right? But now, each of those, each of those things, alpha, each alpha, alpha, each alpha, alpha i, is just a scalar as well, right? So we've expressed alpha u as a linear combination of vectors from S. Okay, because of course the xi, they're still in S, okay. So we've proven that alpha u is an element of the set generated by S. Sorry. Yeah, we've proven that alpha u is an element of the set generated by S. So we've proved that the set generated by S is closed under scalar multiplication as well. So since it's closed under that tradition and scalar multiplication, it's a subspace. Okay. Should I leave it there for now, for this video? I think I might. I'm just looking at what else there's going to be. Yeah, I'll leave it there for now. Come back to it next video.